Packy, what are you doing? Uh, you know, trying to get in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> what is up with those sunglasses? He's blocking out the haters. He's blocking out the haters. <laughs> can't hear, can't see. Is there like, oh, there we go. Now we can see it better. Are those actually your sunglasses? Yeah. yeah, your boy Nick Pate brought them for him. Oh, God. <laughs> Excuse me. It makes your look any good? Look at the camera. It looks like a sex machine. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sex machine. I think, I think we have a thumbnail. I stopped recording. How far are you guys running? Because if you're running a mile or less. Mile and a half. We're running five miles. Okay. I'll run a mile and a half. You can run five. Uh, are we listening to music or are we going to talk the whole time? I have my phone. Right. You're gonna listen to music. Running a mile and a half. How fast do you guys run? It'll take me a mile and a half. It'll take me about 13 minutes. Oh, see, here's the problem. I can keep up. You could keep up with that. Yeah. Does that mean you want to come running too? Yeah. We're good influences on people. Dang man, look at this. A positive <laughs> movement right here. We got a trio of runners. If I'm, like, if I'm like this after a run, you already shower. He can't run. He just showered. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah. How long do we run? I did 1.28 miles. <laughs> it's my normal. You're work. tired. What? So you look tired. I'm tired. I'm ready to start working out. <laughs> Frank the tank. Which one's mine? The one with Marcus Brett. Nick doesn't like Brussels sprouts? Nah, Nick, why don't you like Brussels sprouts? You don't get a body like this with Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Brad, how is it? Delicious. Yeah? We should room with Frankie every week. I, I try to. Frank tries to avoid me at all times. That, I, that does not surprise me. Brad, you're not going to. How long have you been with Nick? A day and a half? Yeah. <laughs> I'm already going now. How many hours do you think he's talking? Every one of them. It never ends. Talking to sleep. Uh, sleep. Sad conversation. Sleep. Put a shirt on. No. It's hot. It's hot outside. <laughs> Nick, are you ready? Nick, this is cold. I'm, Come on. We gotta go. I'm helping my friends. What are you doing? Setting up Hulu for them. Oh, okay. You're such a nice guy. Hey. We're touching. It's hot. We have the almost tournament leader. Yeah. Missed by two. Nice job, Mr. AJ. I'll give you five guesses Mitchell. for the last <laughs> Mitchell. I'll give you five Not guesses. Here. I'll give you five guesses for the second ball I threw today after the idol. Intense fire. How do you know? Because I am oh, a G. Yeah. 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 Nick, come on. We got to go. They're leaving us behind. All right, so we are in, I don't think I've told you guys, we are in Lubbock, Texas for the second time this year for another national event. With Brad Miller. With Patrick. And we have the Brad Squad, otherwise known as the B Squad. Hey, car vote, should we leave without Nick? We should totally leave without Nick. Can I we do it for the vlog? That. Can we just like kind of start taking off? Go, 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 go. And then got it. Are you for a run? <laughs> Nick, oh, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna be late. Yeah, are we? We're trying to get to the bowl. Hour twenty <laughs> away. We're leaving now. <laughs> Spent so many nights living out at sea that my heart is gone vacant. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel something. Not gonna wait till the morning because something's gonna change my mind. I don't wanna change my mind.
bad with names, but I want to introduce you guys to somebody. What's your name? Justin Wedge. He is the videographer for today's, all the B-roll, all the shots you see bowling, uh, everything that doesn't involve me in front of the camera, this guy was the man. I really appreciate you, man. Are you going to be back tomorrow? Yes. Heck yeah. All right, so we're wrapping up the first day of the Lubbock Open. It's a great day for the house. Packy, the real question is, did you beat Nick Pate? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, yeah, you did. I believe I did, actually, yeah. Did you beat him? AJ, did you beat him? Nick! Frankie, did you beat Nick? Today, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Nick! Come on! Did you beat Nick? You can't do that to the vlog. What, bowling or something? Right, we got the bio the area in there. Nick, did you beat, uh... God, what? Put some clothes on, man! Why? I'm in my bed. Did you beat Frank or did you beat Packy? No. <gasps> Why didn't you beat Packy? Because I'm not left-handed. I'm not a cheating left-hander. Did you beat Mitch? I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right, so it was a good day. We're wrapping it up here. A little bonding time. What are we watching? What are we watching? PBA spoof. The PBA spoof? Yeah, the League of Ordinary Gentlemen spoof. <laughs> Stay <laughs> right. two tomorrow. Okay, so we are about to start the second day of the Lubbock Sports Open. Yesterday was a good day. I forgot to mention actually that Kyle is not with us. Kyle is in uh, Vegas. He booked his trip to Nationals with his family before this was on the schedule, and so he couldn't uh, he couldn't change that. So he's in Vegas. So yeah, we're kind of right so not really. We're hanging out with some really good friends this week. Um, but anyway, uh, actually, this is better lighting. Uh, we're in second place after the first day. It went really well. The first, I started off throwing the supersonic. And the first four games, and then I switched to a high road, and then I actually went back to the Super Sonic the last game and gave it some loft. We went up at 300 over, or 312 over, Zeke uh, led at 356, and after, I think, five games this morning, they take the top 16, which bowl eight games of match play. My flight's at 7, 10 p.m. tonight, if for whatever reason I make the step ladder and I win a match, then um, I might be late for I have to rebook a flight for tomorrow, but that wouldn't be a bad idea. So, um, yeah, day two of Lubbock, five games, top 16, eight more games, top four step ladder. We have completed, it was actually six games, not five games of, uh, I guess, more qualifying for the match play, and it went really well. I'm actually sitting in first right now. Uh, the first game I came out of the gate, total zombie too. Uh, I didn't sleep at all last night, really, and I came in this morning just kind of out of it, and somehow posted 300 the first game, which was uh, strange, and then the, the next game, listen, Francois Lavoie and Dom Barrett, if you're watching this video, you guys did a number on your starting pair because that pair hooked out of the building 
shoot 180, next game shoot 2-0. Kind of missed the boat on both of those. And then just kind of grinded it out. They got really hard, they got really cliffed. Had a 220, 220, 210, um, which uh, was good. Which was uh, three pretty good games. It uh, took me from second to first, and now I'm going into the eight games of match play in first place. I think the top eight bowl the bottom eight, 16 go. Uh, and then, so I'm gonna bowl the bottom eight guys, I believe. And then they cut to the top four for step ladder. Uh, this is a really, really good position to be in. I'm ecstatic, I'm calm, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable in this situation. That's something I couldn't really say a year ago. Um, so yeah, things are going well. I, what did I do? This, I, I threw a supersonic the first game and then the, uh, then I switched to an astrophysics. But they were, they were kind of hard. It almost didn't matter what ball you threw. You just needed something that was going to hit the pocket. So anyway, we're rocking and rolling. Moving forward, we're getting better. We're more comfortable in these situations. Um, good luck to us. Okay, so I actually ended the vlog that day with Kyle Troop. Kyle Troop actually finished fifth, and he was in the show and bowled his way out. I think he bowled like 180 or something. Uh, and Anthony Lavery Spar went around him in the last game of match play. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to end the vlog with him. Uh, but we didn't really go into detail about <clears throat> what happened or, you know, the games of match play or whatever. So I kind of wanted to do that. My first match was against Jason Belmonte. I was the number one seed. He was the number 16 seed. This is the second time I've bowled him uh, going into the match play portion of the tournament. And when you bowl him on the pair that you get practice on, you're, you're going to have to do some things differently because he really changes the way the pattern uh is supposed to be played and he, he threw the dullest ball he had and he never threw a shot right of third arrow and what he's doing is he's trying to develop the pattern for the way that he likes it and he ended up bowling good he shot 220 but if you're his opponent uh, you really have to think of some other ways of attacking the pattern and the whole week I've been playing inside and when he really takes his dullest ball and uses up all that all in the middle part of the lane it makes you think and even if even if it doesn't do it a whole lot, uh, it at least makes you think, and he knows that, and he knows what he's doing. That's part of his strategy. Um, that's been a part of his strategy forever. So uh, I decided to try and play inside. I didn't think he was going to affect the pair that much uh, by throwing his dull ball inside, and, and maybe he did, maybe he didn't. I don't know. Uh, exactly. Regardless, I shot 150. It wasn't a very good game. Uh, the, the, it, it did play a lot different though. So whether it was just like the pair, whether it was just a bad pair, or uh, whether he affected it a whole lot, I, I started off the match play portion pretty bad. He shot 220, I shot 150. The next match I shot 230 against Tom Doherty, but honestly I was just thinking about what I, was, what I should have done against Belmo. I, and what I should have done against Belmo was move all the way out to the right and play like up five, which is what a couple of people did that had a lot of success. And that's kind of a common thing when it goes into match play. You know, most people played inside, but for some reason when, when the match play portion starts, there's less bowlers, the pattern's laid down for the final time. Uh, it just kind of seems to change and people tend to change their strategy and I should have changed my strategy, especially bowling Belmo the first match. So 230 against Doherty wasn't any good. He shot 240. Uh, the next match was on 37 and 38 against Anthony Lavery Spar. 37-38 was the worst pair in the house. It was the tightest down lane. It had two bad racks, and there was a little hump in front of the head pin on lane 37. So it wasn't a very good game, a very good pair. And he bowled a good game, 227. I had a chance to strike on the 10 shoot to 28, and I just, I mean, just clobbered all over it. Uh, it wasn't a very good shot. So I shoot a clean 190. The next game I bowled his brother, Sean, and Sean's playing to the right. Anthony was playing left with me. Uh, and Sean's playing out to the right, and uh, it, was, it wasn't it was a good game for me. I actually went the back six for 2.11 uh, to force him to throw the first one on the 10th, and he did. Uh, so kudos to him. That was a good game by him. My next match was against Don Barrett, and he was playing the lanes inside, and so was I. And there was like this, there was this mixture of bowlers that were playing inside and outside. EJ Tackett, Kyle Troop, they all played outside, and they bowled really well. The people who were playing inside really didn't have a whole lot of success. Belmont didn't really bowl all that great. Uh, playing inside, he was one of the only other ones doing it. Uh, it was it was hit or miss. Some pairs are good, some pairs are bad. But Dom was playing inside. This one was a pretty good pair. He shoots 240, I shoot 220. Um, it was it was a it was a good game by me. But the opponent bowled better. The next game, uh, I was staring at it like a seven bagger again. EJ just 
strikes spare and then the next seven and then he goes runaway brooklyn in the eighth and just kind of had it going man he, he had such a good look out there by the gutter he made he, he made the pattern almost look like a 35 foot pattern somehow it was it was strange so ej ej bowled a good game against me as well um and it, it wasn't necessarily my best game either uh the next game was against jake peters he had a pretty good game i had a clean 190 wasn't my best game and then the last game to round it off i bowled down barrett again and by the time i bowled the last game i was a little frustrated because i just wasn't executing to the way i was all week you know when you get toward the end part of the tournament and the match like part of the tournament it is you know the 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 highest variance if you're not winning matches you're you're not going to do well it doesn't matter what you shoot it the 30 bonus spins is a lot of bonus spins so if you're bon if your opponents are just like going crazy against you it's going to be a very tough road whether you start in first place whether you start in last place whether you're shooting 230 it can be a very frustrating experience it can also be on the opposite side a very awesome experience you can be shooting 190s and winning your matches and gaining pins on the number um, but nonetheless i'll take that position anytime going into match play leading going to match play if i do if i can find a way to do that uh i don't know a good portion of the time i'm gonna capitalize on it at some point and that was my second time doing it i did it at the players this past year and then that time both times i bowled belmo which was uh pretty crazy but um yeah i'll take that i'll take that position every time i'm confident in that position the next time I'm in that position, it's going to go better. Sometimes bowling is just kind of a cruel game. You know, there's not a whole lot you can do. I didn't bowl that bad. I didn't bowl 0 and 8. That's for that's for dang sure. But uh, sometimes that happens. You know, sometimes um, you know things just don't go your way. Uh, it's important that when things aren't going your way, that you just kind of just continue to stick to the process. It's hard. It's hard for me uh, to not let your emotions get involved. But you know, uh, the more you're there, the more experienced you are, the the easier it gets. And so yeah, that was my Lubbock trip. It was a very successful trip. You know, every time you get in that position, every time you're in match play, every time you're bowling around those guys, you just continue to learn. And sometimes you just got to get waxed before you can really put something together. And I'm confident that I can put something together. So uh, that was my Lubbock trip, Lubbock vlog. All my friends stayed with that I stayed with. Uh, it was fun. Uh, the summer tour is coming up. We start. Uh, it starts with the Lucy in July, and then all of August, we're, uh, we're bowling and vlogging. Kyle and I are road tripping, so uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys are in the, any of the cities that we were going to for the August tour, come by, say hi. We'd love to meet you. Uh, thanks for watching the video.